In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning offering for the month of February. We start each morning, the first thing that we do is to consecrate the whole day to God the Father through Jesus Christ in union with the holy sacrifices of the Mass throughout the whole world, every second. A Mass is being offered in different parts of the world. And so what do you do in the morning offering is you bring to Jesus everything that you do, everything that you enjoy, everything that you suffer, all the good things that happen to you, even all the evil things that happen to you, you accept them all as God's plan for you, part of God's plan for you. And all these, you bring them to Jesus, place them on the altar, which Jesus will transform these your spiritual sacrifices, your gifts. Jesus will transform them into his body and blood at consecration. And your small sacrifices will become the perfect sacrifice of Christ on the cross. And together with the priest offering the Eucharist in different parts of the world, you offer yourself to the Father in the way you can take part in all the masses. Everything you, you do becomes prayer in union with the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Everything that you do becomes prayer. A sacrifice of thanksgiving to God the Father. In this way, with Christ, you are saving the world. You can be an apostle. Remaining where you are, doing what you are doing, do it with love. But make sure you always do God's will, not your will. In this way, everything you do becomes prayer. Yeah, especially your suffering has meaning, united with the sufferings of Jesus. Your suffering becomes source of salvation for yourself and for others. In this way, you can be an apostle. You can save the world. You can proclaim the good news to the whole world just by doing what you do with love for the glory of God and offering it to the Father through Jesus Christ. So in this way, you can become an apostle by your prayer and everything you do becomes prayer. And so we are going to begin this day and every day through the morning offering by through reciting this morning offering, you can use your own words. You do not use any, any particular formula found in a book, morning offering. You can use your own words. So this is the prayer which we pray together in the, in the, in the morning. Jesus, with a grateful heart, I begin this day in your name. I offer this day. I offer you this day. I accept all that is going to happen to me today. I offer you my, my thoughts, words, actions, 
my joys and sufferings accept these spiritual sacrifices and transform them into your sacrifice on the cross the perfect sacrifice which gives perfect honor praise adoration and thanksgiving to the father and brings about peace and salvation to the world in all the masses offered throughout the world i pray with the whole church and mary your mother for all intentions of your sacred heart forgiveness of sins for our daily bread for religious men and women for refugees for displaced people for families for youth orphans and street children i pray also these my personal intentions you may remember some of your personal intentions for which you want to pray throughout the day in all the masses the people you want to pray for today or for yourself in a special grace you want to receive in a special uh, person you want to pray and you can place them now give them to Jesus particularly we pray for the intention of Pope Francis for this month of february yes we pray for the intention of pope francis for the month of february we pray that those with a terminal illness and their families receive the necessary physical spiritual care and accompaniment i repeat the intention of pope francis for the month of february we pray that those with a terminal illness and their families receive the necessary physical and spiritual care and accompaniment those who are terminally ill there is no cure possible all that we can do is to give some medicine some uh, you do some palliative care to to uh, to give some pain killer and wait for the death to come and these people need special attention from others they need a prayer they need encouragement because they can easily get discouraged <coughs> some people are even tempted to to do some euthanasia that is mercy killing that gives an injection so that this person may die soon no no we have no right to take away our lives or lives of somebody else let god help that person to live through this suffering and <coughs> these sufferings of the one the sick person as well as their family accepted with love can do a lot of good for their souls and for the salvation of the world so during this month of uh, february we pray for the intention of pope francis for for uh, such such people so in this way the whole day can become prayer everything <coughs> we do can become prayer <coughs> our ordinary daily activities can become prayer of thanksgiving through jesus christ to god the father 
This is something marvelous. You can pray while you are engaged in your daily duties, whatever they may be, washing, teaching, digging or whatever. Your work becomes prayer and while working you are being an apostle. This is apostleship of prayer. <coughs> so this is how we begin each day by offering our entire day to God the Father through Jesus Christ. In this way, you can pray always. The whole day becomes prayer. <coughs> so this is how we begin today with the morning offering. And we live this morning offering throughout the day. Amen. Have a good day. Oh,